Hi, Teresa. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. So you get invited to so many events. Why was this important to come to? Um, this one was really special, I think, because there's such a wonderful cause behind it. Um, Do Something is obviously a very special organization. And I think for me personally, I love the idea that we're encouraging these teens to get out there and, and make social change. And um, I'm excited to get involved in the projects today. I think we're doing some gardening and some painting. And it's just nice to be around that energy and everyone's really inspired and feeling proactive. So it's good. Good. Well, you, there are two movies that I need you to tell me everything about. Okay. One, let's start with AWOL. Yes. And Liam Hemsworth. Yeah. <laughs> so um, that is now been called Love and Honor. Okay. Um, internationally, I think. Um, and it's a very notebook style movie. It's, um, you know, and the notebook is one of my favorite movies. And it's about these two guys who, they're uh, soldiers in the Vietnam War and they go AWOL and they come to Ann Arbor, Michigan and they, you know, find loves. And it's a, it's a really beautiful story. There's a bit of everything for, for everyone. And uh, I just saw it for the first time and I was really happy. And it's a very cute movie. So did we get some good romance with you and Liam then? There is a lot of romance between our characters. It's, uh, it's a very special relationship between the two of them. And, um, you know, it was, it was a really fun thing to shoot. I, I think um, we had such a wonderful little family, all of the cast, and we, we shot out there in, uh, in Ann Arbor, and it was just a really special time. So are you a Hunger Games fan at all then? I am a <laughs> Hunger Games fan. I love Jennifer. I think she's the perfect Katniss, and I was so excited when I saw the movie. I got to go to a sneak preview, and... Uh, you know, she's, she is such a special person in real life too. She's really grounded and she's got a, such a life force and I love that and it really comes across on screen. So I can't wait for the next installments. Who do you think should play Finnick if you're familiar with Catching Fire? Um, I'm not, I haven't read it. <laughs> but I, I don't know, I mean, so far the casting choices have been perfect. So yeah. uh, it's totally up to them. I'm sure they'll make the right decision. Well, and then you're working with Nicholas for Warm Bodies. Yes, yes. Do you feel any pressure that people kind of keep wanting to compare it to Twilight-esque at all? What do you think about that? I think it's natural that there have been some comparisons drawn between the two of them, especially also because it's um, from Summit Entertainment who also did the, the huge Twilight franchise. Um, and it's, you know, almost like star-crossed lovers and that's the same thing as Twilight. But it is its its own movie, obviously, and it's, it's kind of dark and quirky. There's a lot of humour in there too. And... Um, Jonathan Levine has done a really great, great job with the movie, and, and I'm really excited for it to come out. So you'll be giving Rob and Kristen a run for their money. I like it. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> but no, they're such different movies, you can't even really compare them. But I am a big Twilight fan. Huge Kristen Stewart fan. I can, no one, so I'm good. so excited. Oh, really? You've seen it? I saw it. It's so good. I cannot wait to see it. I, she's, she's wonderful. I think she's really, of our generation, I think she's one of the most talented actresses out there. And she's edgy and different. And, and I'm looking forward to On the Road. I can't wait for that movie.